Good morning. Today we're going to investigate energy. Specifically, we'll be looking at kinetic energy, gravitational potential energy, and total energy. So I'm just going to launch this projectile upwards and let's see what happens. So there's three columns there. Notice that total energy stays constant. Let's launch it again. Total energy does not change. This is because in this simulation, right now, we've removed air resistance. And so when there's no air resistance, the total energy stays the same. Please pay careful attention to GPE. GPE is gravitational potential energy. Notice that gravitational potential energy is at a maximum when the height of the object is at a maximum. Notice that GPE, gravitational potential energy, is zero when the object is at a height of zero. Finally, let's pay attention to kinetic energy, Ke. Kinetic energy is zero when the object is at peak height. Why is that? Well, because at peak height, the object is stationary. So when is kinetic energy a maximum? Well, kinetic energy is a maximum when the object's moving the fastest. Let's now take a look when we launch this object at an angle of 45 degrees. Again, total energy doesn't change. It's the sum of kinetic and potential. But notice this time that kinetic energy does not go to zero. At peak height, right around here, the object still has speed. Let's see that again. So right around there, the object still has speed. And as a result, since the object still has speed, it still has kinetic energy. Again, when is kinetic energy maximum? When potential energy is at zero, when the object is very close to the ground. And the object is moving at its highest speed when it's close to the ground. Now let's look at it when we launch at a higher angle, at 75 degree angle. Well, notice this time, kinetic energy gets closer to zero, but it's never actually equal to zero. Why is that? Well, at peak height, it still has some speed. Again, though, notice that. Kinetic energy plus gravitational potential energy equals total energy. Now, this simulation allows us to add drag or air resistance. Let's see what happens when we add some drag. Here we go. Notice immediately what happens to total energy. Total energy has decreased by at least 50%. Why is that? Well, the drag force is converting some of the energy into heat. Notice that the peak height is significantly decreased. Why? Because some of the energy now has been lost due to drag. Notice also that the distance it's traveled has decreased because some of that energy has been lost due to drag. Let's see the situation for a 45 degree angle launch. Notice once again that the object doesn't travel as high due to drag, due to energy loss due to drag, and again it doesn't travel as far either due to drag. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.